I heard Ian had a little accident and hurt his foot. Oh. He's out, he's out. Oh. You okay? Oh. He's out, he's out. Oh. You okay? So today, we're gonna see how he's feeling, how he's doing, and I kind of have a little plan of attack today. We're gonna work a little bit on his accuracy, we're gonna work a little bit on his swing, a little bit more technique, you know, less movement today, but we definitely need to just keep improving. There's things that you can do without, without movement. I, I heard you heard you, you heard your foot. Yeah. What happened? Basically, I, I was coming down from a split step. I was at the net. Uh, the ball got hit like right in my face. And uh, before my foot came down all the way, I like I pushed to start trying to move to the to the left, and I caught the edge of my my foot. Oh, so it went out. <clears throat> yeah, okay. and I like and I like pushed against it. So it's all black and blue right now. I just saw a doctor yesterday. And. Uh, it's probably it's nothing like very serious, but okay. I can't, you know I can't sprint. I can't. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. So I just I have to be careful. I have to be careful with it. I'm walking. I'm walking on it, but I can't. I can't run. I can't sprint. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna go a little slower today with the pace. Yeah. 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 But I just today is a good day to actually evaluate your your a little bit of your mechanics. Yeah. I think you should always evaluate mechanics. So. We gotta make sure that we hit our checkpoints, bend, hand up to the finish, good. Make a line with your hands on the backhand, yeah? Yeah. Um, just everything nice and easy. The, the important thing is you don't lose the feel of the ball. Yeah. You know? So we're not gonna do, the movement's not gonna be terrible today. We're just gonna do everything almost like slow motion. All right, so let's start in the short court, nice and easy. Okay. You, and if you, hey, don't force it. Just if, if no, the ball I'm, goes away, just let it go. I'm going to walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just easy stuff, yeah? yeah? Now, let's make sure your hand goes all the way up. Yes, all the way up. And the key, I want you to focus on finishing in the same position each time, right? Definitely a different kind of session with, with Eric today. Big change of pace. It's interesting and kind of processing it, I feel like, what our focus has been together, what is this, session number eight or nine? The first seven sessions, it's like been trying to build like intensity, capacity, like fitness, like uh, go towards that and like the top of the pyramid, kind of like take what I have and like increase the level of, of competitiveness like as fast as possible. Whereas today, we went all the way down to the base of the pyramid and it was more like fundamental you know, skills, focus. Okay, Ian, let's back up. Same pace, just slow pace. Finish your swing. Yep. And try to finish in the same spot. Same spot. Mm-hmm. That's it. Today, I think it's important to finish in the same position every time because then your stroke won't break down in yeah. the matches, sure. you know? It's okay that you can't move that much. Just make sure that your swing, is, your swing path stays the same. Quick update on our subscriber challenge here in October. We started off with 223,000 subscribers and our goal is to get to 250 by the end of the month. And if we hit 250, I'll release again free access to any of our paid online programs up to a $400 value. Back in August, I gave away almost half a million dollars in free logins. I'd love to do it again, but as of today, October 9th, we're only at 220, actually a little bit less than 226,000. So we have a long ways to go. I know we can do it, but we need your help. We need your support. Even if you're already subscribed, please just share our channel with your friends, your teammates, your, your coach, your students, whoever. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get up to 250 together. Same one. Exactly. Same swing, finish. Same spot. How we feel? Good. Okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go to the backhand side. Okay. I was wondering. I was wondering what he was going to do. I, I was expecting more like hand feed stuff. Interesting that he's deciding to do rally. Uh, 
ฮะนาย I see all your comments, and it's funny. Like I, I cleared out my inbox yesterday. It's like the number of emails I've received recently that are like bullet point, like point by point, like all my technical, you know, flaws, and like here's why you don't hit the ball like Federer. Like I know, like I know, I know I'm not Roger Federer. Like I know I have a lot of shortcomings, you know, technically. And so days like this are fantastic for dialing in some of the the more nuanced kind of technical stuff. And I'm trying to do that in my own sessions with the ball machine, as well. And I, I think it's good. It's important to work on both ends of the of the project. You know, being like a complete player and continuing to improve and develop and and get better and be able to compete with better players. I think both ends are important. The intensity and like the capacity, the athletic, you know, output side of things, and then also the the fundamental like foundational develop. Development side of things. So we're gonna go slow. Yeah. Okay. Just five balls. Keep your follow through the same. Hand up. But we're actually going to work on measuring the court a little bit with your stroke. So what I want you to try to do is actually play through the court down the line, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be moving slowly, but we're gonna be moving closer and closer to the net. Yeah. So we're just working essentially on your accuracy today. Like how accurate. Can you go with the down the line shot? Can you be depth wise and width wise, and see if we can land it as we move closer to the court, a different distance? Yeah? yeah, we're just measuring the distance as you get closer to the net. So today was just one of those kinds of days. It's such a big mindset shift. I was having to remind myself to be patient and to just kind of like be grateful, you know, to just be in the moment and be standing, you know, on my feet and like hitting a tennis ball. Uh, I, I'm I'm really grateful for that. So we're just gonna have to play it by ear, you know, from here, see what happens. But to be able to make it through an hour of just like gentle movement and hitting the ball and basically no pain. I mean, really, the the whole hour. I, I'm really, really happy about that and grateful for that. If you're enjoying seeing the behind the, the scenes training, I'm doing the best I can, you know, today. Sorry, it's not as, as intense as usual or as exciting as usual, but if you like seeing the, the reality of what's going on, do me a favor, click that like button. It really helps out a lot. Thank you. Yesterday was my, was my appointment with Dr. Rich, um, and I did exactly what he said. I did like really hot, like heat, and then really uh, cold, like like ice bath. And actually, when I took my foot out of the ice bath, like this this like band of uh, bruising was way uh, bigger and darker yesterday. When I came out of the ice bath, it almost immediately you could tell is starting to kind of uh, subside a little bit. And I think that's the main thing right now. I mean, this is the side of the foot that actually got got hurt, um, and you can see the the bruising's coming down here. Uh, as well, and then there's just a lot of like stuff that just kind of needs to drain still out of my foot. Um, looking at how it looks, like I can't believe I'm able to walk around, you know, c kind of, you know, obviously very gently, carefully, but semi kind of athletically, you know, make moves and like hit the ball, shift my weight a little bit, you know, from foot to foot. I had almost no discomfort during that session, so. Looking at the, the picture of what happened and looking at my foot and uh, feeling what I feel, I couldn't be more happy with the path of recovery it seems like I'm on. That being said, the scheduled date for playing Ben is just a week from now. And so, you know, realistically, I told him I, I would make a call by the end of, of this week either way. We, we've been in contact back and forth. He knows the situation. And so, He's been really gracious and just willing to play it by ear. Um, you know, he gets the injury thing, and I'm just going to give him like a definite call by the end of the week. I have another appointment with Dr. Rich later today, and I'm continuing to do the hot and cold. So I'm, I'm keeping it, you know, keeping it moving. So like, I feel like I'm doing everything I can. I know all of you out there are are just you know hoping for the match to happen, and it's kind of out of my out of my hands. Uh, to the extent, you know, I'm doing everything I can. And so we just have to wait and see 
how the recovery goes. So in the meantime, thank you again so much for your support. It really means a lot to me that so many of you are pulling for me and wanting the recovery to happen quickly. I uh, really appreciate all the kind words. So thank you. I'll keep doing the best I can. And I'll let you know as soon as, as, soon as we make a decision either way.